I'm going to explain how to get at the Pantone colours in Photoshop and show you the importance of why you do need to use these Pantone colours. You'll see on the left hand side in the design elements the different colours that are part of this brief. What you'll also see is I've just used the snipping tool just to cut, copy and paste the Pantone 2935 colour block which is uncoated into the actual um, sheet that I've got here, this document in Photoshop. And what we're going to do is just have a little look at colours just for a moment. So if I go down and I decide that I want to change the colour, I'm just going to click here down on double click on the actual black in the block at the bottom. I've shrunk the screens down so that I can get both either side. And you'll see I've got the colour picker tool. Now normally we could go and click on the colour, that would change the colour on the right hand side here, and we would use that colour. If I go and just hover over this screen though, you'll see that it's got a dropper, eyedropper. If I click on this eyedropper, yes it's picked what you think is a blue colour. And you think that that's the actual accurate one. But there are two provisos here. The one at the bottom says that's not a web safe colour. And the one at the top says it's not a print colour. Now the Pantone colours are actually printer's colours. Those are the colours that we know would absolutely be accurate and true if we sent it to a printer themselves. So what's really important is we use those proper Pantone colours when we're designing. So if you come down to where it says colour libraries and you will see that there's this picker down here in there you will see that there is a Pantone solid uncoated block at the bottom that's what that colour means that Pantone the number and the U stands for uncoated and in there all you now need to do is type 2935 and it will find the colour click on it and click on OK and now you've actually got that colour block Come up to the swatches panel at the top and click new swatch and you can now name this one and call this your Pantone 2935U and click on OK and that will now add that colour to the bottom of the library. You now need to repeat that with all of the rest of the colours and make sure obviously you've got your black and your white that's no issue that's standard but what this will now actually do is it will now allow you to pick those different blocks and before you finish, because you might be moving between machines, you glow on the little dot, dots at the top up there and say, save those swatches. It will save the standard swatches you've already got with your additional colours attached at the bottom.